guy, man. Okay, so this is the, the river that runs into Gary Beach. It's, uh, we used to, is it the one we used to call the Coca-Cola River? Yeah, it is. It gets its sort of Coca-Cola colour from the uh, peat on the moor. Is that what it is? I think so, yeah. If you drank it, it would taste like peat. No, it tastes like Coke. <laughs> tastes like water. I've drunk out of it. You're supposed to drink a bit further upstream though, where it runs a bit uh, faster. I doubt there's anything bad in it there, but you could get a dead sheet down here. Okay, we're just going to walk down to the uh, river. Yeah, we are. We're going to walk back up that way. Alright, Leo? Yeah. Okay. Let's have a look at this bridge. Oh, my knees, man. This country will keep you fit, I tell you, all these hills. Quality, aren't they? Mm. I waterproofed my uh, no. Nikes the other day, yeah. Wow. Didn't know you could waterproof that. I got the special. How does that work? Nick wax, white, fluidy stuff. Really? Yeah. Didn't know you could waterproof that. Mind out, there's a troll that lives under that bridge. <laughs> this is the bridge, uh, yeah, the river that runs up into Gary Beach. See the top part of it that comes and goes with a bridge over it along the road. In a minute. People having a picnic over there. Closer to the river without dropping my phone in. There you are. Look at that. Lovely. Bubbling brook. Seen salmon in here and trout. Saw a huge salmon in here once. Massive thing. Well, there's a thing called a bridge there, Leo. Oh, you're talking about stepping stones? Yeah. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah. Yeah. yeah maybe that, that bit there, see? But I wouldn't bother trying it yet, unless you've got big Wellington boots on. If you had Wellington boots on, you could probably cross at that point there. Yeah. In fact, it's not that deep. Yeah, you could even walk on the bottom. Yeah. With, with Wellingtons on. I mean, fishermen use waders, don't they? Yeah. To, uh, Those are those big suits. Now they're Wellingtons that come right up to your kind of top of your thighs. Yeah. Okay, should we do a bit of that walk? Mm. The rabbits live here, see their burrows across there. Oh. Some more there. Okay. Let's walk back to the car. Oh, yeah, you got to, yeah, but you, there's a fence there, so we, we walk around that way, oh. but out through the car park again.
You could walk across those stepping stones probably. Me. Yeah. Probably just about get across there. It's that green one in the middle that'll be tricky. It's covered in moss or algae or something. The Outer Hebrides, eh? Sorry, what? Okay, we're gonna. Well, we can do that way. Are we gonna go around that way? Because there's a path. See over there? Well, there's a there's a path that goes up that uh, ridge. Yeah, we're gonna go up this path here now. Oh, what? Sprinkling salt on the beef. On the beef? Are we can have that tonight. Yeah, we can do. Yeah, I've got. Yeah, we can. We leave it for like two hours. Well, I'll slow cook it. I'll slow cook no, it. No, you sprinkle this salt on it and leave that for like an hour and a half. Oh, do you? Before you cook it. Right. When you cook it, it comes out way nicer. Okay. What? Makes it tender. Makes what tender? The beef joint. Yeah, it's nice, isn't it? Fresh air. 